In a vector of length 2n, an element appears at least n plus 1 times. What is the most efficient way of finding the vector's mode? You should take 10 minutes and think about how would you proceed with answering this question, and I'll see you back here with a solution. One obvious algorithm scans the vector in one pass, keeping a running tally of the occurrences for each distinct element encountered. If the number of distinct elements is fixed, for example 2, this algorithm will have a time complexity of big O of n and a memory complexity of big O of 1. However, looking at the worst case, as the number of distinct elements can be as high as n, this solution requires an array of length n to store the frequencies and will have a higher than linear time complexity. Let's try and find a solution that has a linear time complexity and a constant memory usage in this worst case scenario. If our vector has only two possible entries, A and B, the following approach would work. Pass the vector and keep in memory the difference between the frequencies of A and B up until that point and which element has the higher frequency. To do this, we just add 1 to the counter when we encounter the most frequent element up to that point and subtract 1 when we encounter the other one. When the counter is 0, we forget the most frequent value and set it in the next step. In the end, we will have our desired most frequent element and the frequency delta. It seems that this solution might work even when we add more distinct values to the array, replacing some of the b's in it. Let's start from the beginning of the array and move along it. We will keep in memory a pair consisting of a favorite and a counter. Initially, the favorite is unknown and the counter is zero. When we move incrementally in the array passing an element, if the counter is zero, we set the favorite to the observed element and the counter to one. If the counter is not zero, we increment or decrement the counter by one according to whether the observed element is the favorite or not. If the counter is zero, the favorite becomes unknown. When we are done, the favorite is the mode if such an element exists. Let's see how this works on a given vector. We can look at our array of length to n and the state of the running algorithm after it has processed the ith element. The elements up to this point can always be divided into two disjoint groups, one group with all the elements equal to the current favorite, and another group with elements that can be paired in such a way that no pair has two equal elements, meaning they that cancelled each other out. In this group, we can still have some elements equal to the current favorite. We can use this property to prove that the algorithm produces the mode of the vector. Let x and k be the favorite and the counter at the end of the vector. We can observe that k must be even since, at any point, the counter has the same parity as the number of elements processed in the array and our array has length to n. We can split the elements of the vector as seen before, the favorite group of k times x and 2n minus k paired elements and distinct from one another. Suppose that x is not the mode, then there must be y such that the frequency of y is more than n. 
but Y can only appear in the second group, and at most once in every pair, so he has at most 2n minus k divided by 2 apparitions, which is less than n. This comes in contradiction with our initial supposition, so the favorite is the mode. This algorithm was invented by Robert S. Boyer and J. Stroher Moore in 1980. You can read a paper published by them that proves in more detail that it is possible to split the elements into two groups we mentioned before. It also contains more examples and a Fortran implementation and verification system. You can also check the link in the description box for a step-by-step -step example of the application of the algorithm written by the authors. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!